What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we are talking about the Washington football team upsetting the Super Bowl champions, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 29 to 19. And what a day it was! This football game was incredible from start to finish for Washington. Rough day for Tampa Bay. Uh, we'll start here with the stats. Taylor Heineke, 26 for 32, 256 yards and a touchdown. Really played well today. There was a couple of sacks. He did get sacks five times for a 30-yard loss that were really on him. He needs to get rid of the football more like quickly. Uh, he, took, he, he had a lot of time today. Don't let the sacks just... Uh, taint your thought process on how well the offensive line played because they were all over it with this front four who is a really solid front four coming from the Tampa Bay side Antonio Gibson really struggled to start this game there was one time at one point he had 17 carries for 17 yards but the last few carries especially in that fourth quarter was incredible he ended with the day with 24 carries 64 yards and two touchdowns for Antonio Gibson uh, Taylor Heineke had three carries for 15 yards himself Terry McLaurin was the leading receiver today he did go out of the game for a little bit I think it was a collarbone but he came back in ended up taking a huge shot on third down in about five where Taylor Heineke saw man-to-man -man coverage, went to his number one receiver on a slant, and they got the first down pretty much to ice the game at that point. And then Antonio Gibson ran it in untouched on fourth and one. Great decision by Ron Rivera for going for it there on fourth and one. And the reason being is we were up by four with about 31 seconds left, fourth and one from the one-yard line. And initially, they sent out the field goal unit, but they took the time out because they were going to stop the clock anyway. And they thought about it, and they were like, hey, go for it here. Why? If you don't get it, worst case scenario, they get the ball back with 28 seconds left, down by four, needing a touchdown anyway, right? So they're going to have to go the whole distance, 99 yards with no timeouts, and score a touchdown. But if you get the touchdown, you ice the game. If you take a field goal, it changes nothing. They still could get the touchdown and tie the game. And who knows what happens on the ensuing kickoff. If there's a bad kick, they get good field position. It was actually a brilliant, brilliant move by Riverboat Ron Rivera for going for it there. And they paid off in the end. We got the walk-off touchdown. And it was amazing, 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 amazing. Uh, big shout-outs to the defense. They really stepped up today and played a whole lot better game. Even when Chase Young went down, it looks like a non-contact injury, most likely a right ACL tear, maybe even more, hopefully not, but it does not look good. Chase Young came back out on the field with crutches, so on the sideline, I should say. Hopefully he comes back, but hey, you had a great day. You didn't end up with any sacks, but Jonathan Allen was all over the place with a lot of pressures. You can see here his stat sheet only says two tackles, one for a loss, but he was all over the backfield, forcing Tom Brady to have to get rid of the ball faster than he wanted to. Then you had William Jackson, who had the first interception in the first quarter. It got tipped up from a great play from Cameron Curl. Darden was the intended receiver. He actually caught it, but Cameron Curl hit his arm, popped the ball up in the air, and William Jackson came down with the interception. Bobby McCain had one that was just completely overthrown, but he dropped the same type of interception. I believe it was against the Broncos that he had a wide open interception opportunity, but this week he has the same play and he comes away with it. Beautiful, beautifully done by Bobby McCain. We could add a third interception. It was so, so close. Kendall Fuller caught diving for a tipped ball up in the air. It actually, it initially looked like it was incomplete. And it was Chris Godwin that it went off his ankle and up in the air instead of the ground and up in the air. kind of looked like if that you remember that Jason Witten one many years ago that hit off his ankle, popped up in the air, and went up, ended up being intercepted. But unfortunately, it, he didn't quite get his arms underneath, and it looked like the ball moved, not enough to overturn the interception call. But let's take a look here at the team stats. What a team win this was for Washington, starting right here. Everybody knows how much I love the time of possession. 39 minutes time of possession to 21 for Tampa Bay. Unbelievable, especially with that final drive. How long was that final drive to ice this game out that ended with a touchdown? 10 and a half minute, 19 play, 80 yard drive. 
beautiful. And it was a great combination of run plays where Gibson was running the ball like a man possessed and Heineke making the third down throws when we really needed them. And he even ran for one on a third down and two, I believe, or third down and three. That was huge. Huge, huge day for the offense. This was their best day by far. If you take away the two drives where they were forced to punt uh, in this first quarter, or excuse me, third quarter, uh, they didn't punt the rest of the day. It was just an incredible day. Unfortunately, you did have an, a fumble from Dax Milne, who got the first down. It was uh, We thought we were going to try to ice it that drive. We ended up fumbling the football. They scored a touchdown to bring it within four. The missed PAT hurt Tampa Bay a lot. Look at this. 11 for 19 on third down for Washington and also two for two on fourth down. I mean, that is just clutchness from Taylor Heineke. He was huge, 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 huge today. Seriously, I've been a Taylor Heineke hater and I still don't think he is the future of the quarterback position for us. But man, you can't deny it was a plus a check mark for Taylor Heineke today because he made Every big throw, it seemed like, when he needed to the most. And he was really the biggest reason why we ended up icing this game out. We also finally held a team under 50% on third down. Four for 10. 40% is still not great, but it's better than what we have been giving up. A lot of like 11 for 15s or 7 for 12s or stuff like that. This time it's 4 for 10. And that's much better. But we did allow two for two on fourth down. We got to tighten that up. One of them was a QB sneak from Tom Brady. But yeah, it was just a great, 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 great team win for Washington. I Like, it, how much more? Like, you had the DeAndre Carter touchdown catch was awesome. It was a corner route. Just beat the safety. Heineke put it right on him. Nice catch there by Carter as well. Uh, it, it was just a great, great day. Uh, there's really not even much to complain about. You know, like the last two wins, we only have three on the year, but the last two wins, you could walk away really complaining about things uh, such as like Taylor Heineke threw three picks that were dropped, right, against Atlanta. That that was unfortunate. Or the defense looked like dog water against Daniel Jones and the Giants, right? It was just terrible. And we found a way to win that game. Or really, the Giants found a way to lose it because we missed the field goal and they jumped off sides, things like that. Today, there really wasn't much to complain about. I mean, like, you can nitpick here and there, maybe a play call here or there, but this was just a great, great team win. I mean, it reminds you, but it, it's not even like the Pittsburgh game. Like, the Pittsburgh game, we went down early, if you guys remember. I believe we went down 13 to nothing early in that football game. But this game, we were up 13 to nothing, and we just held the lead the entire way. Uh, Joey Sly got to bring up Joey Sly the brand new kicker we brought in the ex Carolina Panther moving around the league uh this year I think he was on Houston and he was on San Francisco but his first day today he went three for three including a long of 46 he made both PATs that he had big day for Joey Sly uh the one thing I don't like about Joey Sly is that he gets a little too cute on the kickoffs all right I, I would like more touchbacks he allowed a bunch of uh returns today and I think it was actually him trying to get cute and he wanted to do it on purpose just kick it out of the back of the end zone let them get to the 25 and start from there uh, I don't want an opportunity where they get to screw us with a big touchdown run like it, it really hurts you obviously when you allow a special teams touchdown but other than that uh, it was just a great great team win I I, I don't know what you if you are upset after this win i don't know what you want you know what i mean like what what more do you want in a football game i like you just played one of the better teams in the entire league they were 6 and 2 coming into this game they're the super bowl champs from last year that they brought back all 22 starters and they were relatively healthy of course they didn't have antonio brown they didn't have rob gronkowski but i mean still you could go down the list they still have chris godwin they still have mike evans they still have a cameron Brate, oj howard leonard fournette a top five offensive line the goat tom brady uh, ronald jones wasn't used much today but they still have what giovanni bernard who's a really solid third down back it's a lot of weapons over there for tampa bay and the defense held up strong, and it was really fun to watch. But hey, 
You guys let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And, hey, thank you, everybody, who joined the live stream today. We got up to 300 live viewers. It was a lot of fun. I'll be back live tonight for the Sunday night game. If you want to come hang out in the live stream, comment, and have a good time, hey, come on through. And, hey, also, there's a we have a new channel, Tim and Jarris Sports Talks. Links will be in the description Go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well. You can get the full episode of the Chris and Tim podcast as well as the uh, little snippets that Chris is going to start making for the channel. Subscribe, and we'll have some fun there. But thank you guys so much to watching till the end. Great win for Washington. Hail, baby. It was a lot of fun. And until next time, see ya!